Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. This is Maxwell. You know, the question is, how do those pinstripers get the lines so perfectly symmetrical? A little thing above said layout. But the, really, the real answer to that is, they don't. In pinstriping and in uh, long lines and a bunch of stuff, I hear the word, that's perfect, it's flawless. But they never really are. There's some slight things. These are human beings putting these paint stripes on here, not a computer. And so that's just, to me, that was neat to figure out because when I was learning and I needed everything to be perfect, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be awesome. In 1979, when I started my paint career, I got I was very lucky to be a student of a great man, Howard Zeller. And on my first, I was in Redding, California. And on my first day there, he was pinstriping a car, put a couple long lines down it, and I'm just hanging out, being dumb, 23 years old. And I looked down the lines of the car, and I, in all of my wisdom, I'm looking down the line and I say, oh, I get it. I understand. The line's a little bit wavy down there. It's not absolutely perfect. When you're standing and looking at the side of the car, it looks perfectly straight. But when you go like this, it's a, I'll go, oh man, it just was a great relief for me to do that. And I stood up and Mr. Zeller was standing right here like this. And, I went, and he said, Next time I catch you eyeballing one of my lines, I'm going to kick you right in the butt. Yes, sir. I get it. Ish. <laughs> I'm not that fast at picking things up, but some things I get pretty good. You know, I've seen less and less pinstriping and custom paint on cars as the years go by. Now it's down to almost never. You barely see, you don't, you don't even barely see even tape pinstripes, let alone hand painted stuff on cars. But I know they're out there because I see people on YouTube all the time painting some amazing stuff, great hand lettered stuff, not just to hot rods, but signs bank windows and you know, tattoo shops, trucks, stuff is great. To 
prepare this metal, I bought the sign blank at uh, Ace Hardware, 12 inches by 24 inches. Spray painted black, took some red rattle cans, man, and I was faking it. But I got the fade on there to look pretty good. It's a little blotchy, but it looks really good. And then I cleared it. And it, it's the first time I've done that. It looks great. I'm going to do it more. In editing these videos, I sped them up quite a bit and I cut out the zillions of times that I had to do little touch up on the ends or thicken some lines to make it a little bit more even. And as you can see, the design I'm doing here is not exactly old school, if you know what I mean. So I want to be different. So I started putting more rounder stuff in it. Just to try to make it mine. And that's what I recommend for you guys. Come up with something just new that you could use pinstriping for. It's one thing I learned about young people. They're creative, innovative, and just amazing. There isn't a lot of chances these days to pinstripe cars and to do a lot of custom stuff. So you know what? There isn't a lot of money in this. And when the opportunity to paint something like that does come along, a lot of these super hot rod guys go to the pinstripers that have been doing this their whole life. These guys are amazing. And you can see them on YouTube. These guys are a shock and they do amazing stuff. They're not going to come to me. But one of the things that I've done is I've I approached the whole concept of pinstriping and sign painting and a lot of this stuff. It's as an art form. There's 
so much to, there's a gigantic satisfaction in knowing how to stripe and how to paint some of this stuff. It's truly an art form. And when you paint, uh, when you're pinstriping, it's like a form of meditation. It takes all of your concentration. That's why I'm doing a voiceover. When I was painting this thing, I couldn't, I couldn't talk. Everything I had went into getting those lines and creating it and getting those lines to be the way I wanted them to be. You know what? If you're new at this, buy the brush, buy the paint, take your time in putting your kit together, get started, paint something, like and subscribe on my page, hit the bell so you can stay up on what I'm painting, ask a lot of questions, let's work together on some of this stuff. If you find some other pinstripers that you like, press their subscribe button, like what they're doing ask them questions that's how you learn that's how i learn all the stuff that i need to know is on youtube these people are great yes it'll take a few times of a couple things to paint before you even get close to experiencing that wild satisfaction of coming up with something that really looks good but trust me it's worth it
if you get all weepy and depressed that you can't pay for this stuff or it costs too much, let me know in the comment section below and I will answer. And one of the things that I'm going to tell you is how you can get started in this business for 17 cents. That's, you know what? I'll tell you now. I'll tell you now. Take 17 cents, put it back in your pocket, and borrow the money that it takes to buy some decent brushes and some paint and put together a paint kit. Start painting some stuff for your pals. Paint some awesome stuff, even if you only get a couple bucks for it, to get it to pay for your paint and your brushes and your oil and everything you need. In my first video for the Aloha sign, there's a whole list of what you need to get started. Except for the pinstripe brush, you don't have to buy that separate. But if you're getting so close to painting stuff that you're this close and you're watching this video about pinstripe, man, you're there. For those of you that are already dialed into this kind of art, awesome! Subscribe on my page too. I'll come over to your page and subscribe to yours. And we can work together on some stuff. I love this YouTube stuff. This is great. John, Gus, where's the stuff you told me you were going to paint? You guys are, you guys are slacking. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you on the next one. Click on the video here for the airbrush skull I did. The thing's awesome. And, well, I think it is. It is, okay, it's pretty cool. And I'm gonna start painting more stuff like that. And getting it on here at YouTube, you guys. See ya.